Uh, hey guys, it's Barlock here, bringing you episode number 26 of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Dice Lock. Uh, if you need to get caught up on the series, there is a playlist uh, down below that you can click on, and uh, you can catch up on any previous episodes there. Um, if you need to know what happened in the last episode, we made our way through the Magma Hideout, and Groudon got awakened, and... Uh, yeah, and then we're working our way towards the Aqua Hideout now. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick team recap here. Alright, so first of all we have Kale, the Cradley with the Canine ability. Uh, nothing special on it. We have Toadette, the Breloom with the Sandstream ability. Uh, nothing special on it either. We have Mariner, the Kingler with the Rockhead ability. It has been taught Strength and Surf. We have Laika, the Umbreon with the Stench ability. It has Secret Power and Cosmic Power on it. We have Hudson, the Articuno with the Speed Boost ability. Uh, it has been taught uh, Double Team and Flame Wheel and Fly. And last but not least, we have Trash the Magenium with the Lightning Rod ability. It has uh, Super Power and Rock Slide on it. Um, so, so last episode I wasn't 100% sure where I needed to go, but I have done uh, a quick uh, search on where uh, I'm supposed to go next, so I actually do have to go to Slateport. Uh, so, so in Slateport there should be a spot uh, up on like the northeast end of town, uh, which will advance the story. So I'm going to head there. Sorry, there's a motorcycle outside my window. Hopefully, it's not coming through on the on the mic. It's kind of it's kind of faint, so I'm hoping it, it won't be showing up. But uh, fingers crossed that that's not going to be an issue. Uh, so northeast. So it's over here. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Why does Captain Stern look like an eyed? Okay. An underwater cavern on Route 128. Oh no! Oh no, who could possibly be saying this? Well, let's stop him from stealing the submarine. Oh no! <laughs> Bloody pirates! <laughs> So back to Lily Cove. So now we should be able to get into the Aqua Hideout and fight these guys. So just back down here again. And let's try. To enter the hideout. Okay, good. Yeah, so we're actually allowed in now. Oh, and we're fighting already. Okay. Uh, what are they, Ghost Riders? I think they were. Is there a trainer class? Yeah, Ghost Riders. Spoink. All right. Uh, what can I do to kill this thing? I've actually got a. Look at a ghost type move, which would actually hurt it, but... Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna try. Astonish is one of the worst moves in the game, like, in terms of base power. But I'm going to give it a try anyway. Like, it's weaker than Tackle. <laughs> wow, that did way more than I thought it would. Oh, I hope this... Okay, good, that didn't do very much. Oh. Magic coat. Oh, jeez. Good thing I didn't use a uh, status move. Like, if I had leech seed, I probably would have hit it with a leech seed. Come on, kill it. Uh, I'm gonna 
I'll go one more. It should be yeah, okay, good. Should be good to kill it. Like I just need to get the experience. I know I'm being a little risky here, but I've lost way too many Pokemon and I need to get my experience back. Okay. He did his job, or they I'm wondering if that's like they're trying to delay me or something. I just want to look around here, see if there's any items. No. None that I can see. There might be hidden items, but... I'm not going to bother looking for hidden items. Oh, great. It's one of these teleport beam ones. Oh. Blue flute. No, not very useful. Imagine if these were all randomized, too. Uh, because of the randomizer. That would be really annoying. Oh! There's a bunch of static encounters here, I think. For electrodes. So that's going to be a whole bunch of uh, Pokemon I can try to catch. Alright. Ooh, Alakazam. Uh, I'm going to send Laika into this because <laughs> I don't want to mess with an Alakazam. Oh, future sight. Oh really? Whatever. This still might kill, considering it's an Alexam. Alexam is terrible defense. Wow. Okay. No, it didn't. <laughs> um. You know what? I'm just gonna use faint attack. Oh wow. That, that did more than I thought it would, but that's because it was a crit. I don't think it would have killed if it wasn't a crit. Just because uh, Alexam does have good uh, special defense. Check out what's over here. Oh my god, really? Well, we're gonna. Oh, that was the correct way to go, apparently. Really? Okay. So, what's this one? What the. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> what a weird set of teleporter pads. Oh god, which one's which? I'm gonna try this one. Okay, good, we're in this we're in this room. Okay, good. And the air electrodes, perfect. Alright, so what are our uh, static canners? Ooh, an Electabuzz. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, I'm going to go for this thing for sure. It's got Drizzle! Holy crap, that's amazing! If you can get Thunder on that thing... Oh, I'm going for this for sure. Yeah, I've got to catch me an Electabuzz. He's... Oh, this is... Oh, it's got Light Screen. I just gotta get it down. Whoa, okay, that was a crit. Um, oh, that lowered his defense. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with astonishes. Probably one or two astonish. And then we should be good to catch this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it one more time with astonish. Even a crit shouldn't kill. Man, Drizzle. That is an amazing ability to get on that thing. Okay, so we're gonna throw a... I really want to catch this, so we're going Great Ball. <sighs> so that's why it's got Swift, Thunder Punch. Uh, Leer and I think it was reflect or light screen, light screen. It's a pretty solid move set. Yes! Oh 
That is so good. Alright. When a storm approaches, it competes with others to scale heights that are likely to be stricken by lightning. Some towns use Electabuzz in place of lightning rods. I'm going to call it... Uh, it's called Hobbs. Looks a bit like... So I was thinking Grumpy, and then I was thinking Tiger. But uh, then I would decide to go with this, like Calvin and Hobbs, you know? Uh, so Static Encounter number two. Oh, a Metang! Oh, this is... Actually, this is bad. This is bad. This thing has a terrible catch rate. And I don't have... I like to paralyze it. I could use secret power. It could kill itself though. It might only. It might have. Yeah, it has takedown. Uh oh. Oh frick. Okay, my. Um, I'm gonna try to get it low, but the odds of me actually getting the kill on this thing are pretty bad. Like a Metagross would be fantastic to get. And I don't really have like any, I don't think I have any steel Pokemon anyway, but uh, I'm not holding out a lot of hope to catch this thing because Metagross has a notoriously terrible, like all the whole Meta uh, Beldum line has just the worst catch rate. Like I probably threw 60 Ultra Balls at a Metagross or a Metang uh, the first time I saw one in a Pokemon game and it broke out every time. I had it on one health and it just kept breaking out. And then I came back afterwards and it almost broke out of the, the next like 50 that I'd bought. It was just insane. So I'm gonna hit it one more time I think with a secret power. Uh, maybe one more after that because it, it's gonna it's gonna be extremely difficult for me to kill this thing or not kill it to uh, capture it. And I don't really want to have to waste all my Pokeballs. I wonder if this is like Gen 1, where if you ran away, they would still be there. I'm not going to count on that, though. Alright, so we're, we're going to risk it for the Biscuit to catch this thing. And I suppose even if it's a static encounter, like I can only try to catch it the first time. Even, even shaking once there surprised me. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, come on. Give me some luck, give me some luck. Ah. Okay, hurt yourself a little bit. Okay, I can probably take two or three possibly takedowns before it's gonna kill itself. Oh, if I had a ghost type, I could always just make it miss. But I don't, unfortunately. Okay, come on. Come on. Ah! Only... Like, Metang is harder to catch than some legendaries. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. That's kind of why, uh, if you play like Ultra Sun and Moon, a lot of people try to catch their Beldums in Beast Balls, just because Beast Balls have such a terrible catch rate. Uh, and so you get that on top of Beldum's already ridiculous catch rate, and it just makes it... Um, it it's kind of just showing off that, yeah, I did this insane thing. Like, I have a couple of them. I didn't, I didn't catch them myself, but like people have bred them and sent them to me. Or like I've gotten them off Wonder Trade before, uh, and I'm pretty sure they're just breed jacks. They don't seem like hacked to me. But uh, because of the low catch rate on Beast Balls, I like to catch uh, shinies and stuff in them too. They, they, they look cool too. I like uh, Beast Balls are very fancy. Although nothing's as fancy as a Premier Ball. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. At least use takedown, hurt yourself. Make it a little easier for me. Uh, 
If I run into Pokeballs, though, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, go get Electabuzz on my team and come back. All right, we're gonna be down to the Great Balls now. Come on! Oh, ah, ah. I get myself too excited, even if it, even if it goes one more than normal, I get I get way too excited. Like I still know the odds of this working are extremely bad, but I gotta try it, right? I mean, and the only reason I've got an Articuno on my team is because I had a perk that made it so I could leave and come back like as many times as I wanted, right? And like I ran out of Pokeballs the first time I tried to get it. Okay. <sighs> oh, I want a Metagross. <laughs> It's such a good Pokemon. Like, it's one of the best of this generation. <sighs> Come on. Like, I'm gonna run into Pokeballs before it kills itself. You know you want to come home with me. Okay, there. There's a takedown. Wow, we could probably take two more takedowns. Got eight more shots. Come on, we gotta make them count. <sighs> of course, as I say that, it immediately breaks out. Um, God, I know a nickname I want to give it to if I catch it. Ah. <sighs> Normally I don't have that. Normally I'm just like, uh, standing sitting there stupidly trying to decide what I want to nickname my freaking Pokemon. <laughs> it keeps getting paralyzed too. Like I'm getting lucky in some respects, but I honestly would rather it use takedown and get itself as low as possible. Oh, come on. Even if it was a Beldum, I'd be happy. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! I got too excited! Damn it! I jinxed myself. Yes, that's how it works. I jinxed myself. That's definitely what happened. The game knows. The game knows. Mmm. Now it's just teasing me. Ah, just, just give me the release. Let me do it. <laughs> we got three shots. Three shots left. <sighs> if I can get to two or three shakes again, I'm just not going to say anything. I don't want to jinx it. Last try, here we go. Oh. Rip. I wanted that so bad. All right, well now I'm salty. I think this one probably takes us back to the start, no? Alright, so back to the... Uh, back to Lily Cove, and we'll get into that room again. Here, so I'm just gonna fly. Probably be faster than going by foot anyway. 
All right, so let's heal. And I'm going to swap out Toadette uh, in favor of Hobbs. Okay. Oh, if only I had, like... I, I want to see what, like, uh, TMs I have for it, too, because there's definitely got to be some good stuff I can get it. And I'm going to give the experience share to Hobbs as well. It's a good level, too, actually. Share, give to Hobbs, and let's see what. So let's see what uh, items I have in the PC. Uh, so solar beams. Let's. It's not good. <laughs> um. Got fissure. We've got guillotine. Nothing particularly good for him. Is there any items I want to deposit? Let's get rid of the soul do for now. I don't want to lose that. Get rid of a... Uh, actually, we can keep the bright powder for now. Get rid of the... No, we'll keep the miracle seed as well, just in case. Oh, we got a, an awakening. That's cool. I'm going to get rid of the elixir, because I want to save that for the Elite Four. So what can we teach? I might have lost all my TMs though. Uh, oh no, I didn't. Okay. So we got Focus Punch, Silver Wind, Pin Missile, Counter, and Wrap. So nothing good. Nothing good for an Electabuzz. Hmm. Might give him Bright Powder later. And just because I'm obsessive, I have to switch my team around. Okay. Alright, here we go. <sighs> like, I'm not literally obsessive, but like I did get in like weird things as a kid where I had to do things in a certain order. And I always have to arrange my Pokemon in a certain way. Like, my starter always has to be my strongest and has to be at the back of my team. Um, and yeah, they've always got to be arranged by the uh, weakest to strongest, like that sort of thing. So, uh, I guess you could say I have some compulsive behavior. Um, but it's, uh, it is how it is, I guess. Alright, so... Oh my god, all that, I didn't even buy... <laughs> Damn it! I didn't even buy a freaking Pokeball. How much money do I even have? I don't got a bit, okay. You know what, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight these guys just to get a little bit more money. Yeah, <laughs> frick. People watching this are probably just like, you idiot! <laughs> I, got, I, I forgot because of Electabuzz. That's my excuse. I didn't even check his ability. Oh no, I did. I, I didn't need to check his ability. I already know what it is. Uh, I should have checked his nature though. Oh, this is not a good matchup for him. Yeah, we're gonna swap out. Um, neither of these are really good matchups. Um, so let's swap into swap into Mariner, might as well, and I'll swap into let's go to Trash. Scary face. Well, he used it on Mariner. That's interesting. Oof. Mm hmm. I don't know if I like that. 
Okay, well I've got to be able to kill. I'm gonna mud shot that. I'm actually I'm actually kind of worried right now. Cause if the thing uses a poison move on me, I could actually die. Potentially. Mm hmm I don't need, I need rock slide. Hopefully I can flinch it. I'm actually surprised that uh, Trash is at speeding everything. Oh good, okay, I actually still have sped, even though, I get, even though my uh, speed was reduced. Okay, well that was the main thing I was worried about. Oh shoot, they still got more Pokemon. Sunflora. It's gonna hurt. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, if if Rhydon wasn't doing a lot of damage to me, like, considering Rhydon has pretty decent attack, I'm not too worried. Uh, so let's use Body Slam on Sunflora. Okay, hopefully Surf within in the rain is enough to kill this thing. Ah, oh, no? Well, hopefully it's stupid and uses Solar Beam then. <laughs> Ooh, Magneton. Bullet Seed? Uh-oh. Okay, well this shouldn't kill them, unless he gets like a ton of crits. I love Bullet Seed though, it's such a fun move. Ooh, I'm worried. Well, actually, you know what? No. Uh, I can mud shot the Magneton to one-shot it. As long as it doesn't have Levitate. And then I can just body slam Sunflora to death. And that should be enough. Sonic Boom. It does like 20 damage, I think. Okay, so that's them down. And so yeah, we'll just We'll take their money and use that all on uh, Pokeballs and Great Balls. Yeah, so they are, they are just delaying me. Uh, submarine will be left by the time I get out of here. I mean, it's not obviously not really timed, but that's the implication they're going for. Probably doesn't help that I keep Entering and leaving the place too. Uh, all right, so we'll fly back to Lily Cove. And where's the Mart? Oh, where's the Mart? Tell me, there's a freaking Mart here. Oh yeah, there's the big department store. Which is not this one. Where's the department store? Ah. Uh, oh, it's a lottery car. You know, let's, let's draw a lotto ticket. Sure. Come on, hurry up. No, okay, I didn't figure. I don't know, I've won the Master Ball a few times in uh, Sun and Moon, but that's just because I have so many Pokemon in general. And from like all sorts of different trainers, like I, I, I'll at least get a, a basic prize almost every time. Let's do... let's do 25. Yeah. 25. Great Balls. Let's do... 15 Pokeballs. And we'll do one Ultra Ball just in case something crazy comes up. And you know, I want to buy an escape rope. Because I don't want to get in a situation where I have to get out of a cave again and I don't know how. <laughs> uh, and then we'll just let the rest of our money pile up. Or, actually, you know what? We should sell some of these trash TMs. We might have some more money for, for stuff. Uh, so what do we have? We have, like, Wrap is terrible. Silverwind could make it work, I guess. Focus Punch is only going to really work if I have Substitute. 
or based on pure luck, I suppose. Um, how much do I have for Pin Missile? Pin Missile's only going to be good on a Bug Pokemon. You know what, I'm not going to run a Bug Pokemon. I'll keep Silverwind just because it could potentially raise all my stats. Yeah, so I think that's what I'll do. Oh, and so I'll use that to buy two more Ultra Balls. Just in case I run into like a Legendary. Did they give me a Premier Ball? Oh, <gasps> they did! Yes! Okay. I'm way too excited about that. <laughs> Okay, so back to the hideout. God, all of a sudden I'm just craving a maple donut. <laughs> and unfortunately there isn't a Tim Hortons within walking distance, or I would just like literally walk over there and buy like a dozen donuts. <laughs> um, it's just weird, it looks like something I don't really want very often. Um, and it just suddenly came over me. Like, I don't know. Uh, and my kid's asleep right now. Like, I record these while my kid is sleeping. <laughs> so I can't even, like, leave uh, for quite a while to do it, because uh, he needs to sleep. Uh, so, yeah, so here we go. Oh, Anomal Berry, okay. Is this an item too? Okay, an iron. Okay, well, whatever, that worked. Ah, oh, but that means I could have... Oh, I wanted my metang. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll go back to the... Teleporter over here. I think that there's more static encounters. But, oh, that's disappointing. Oh, and we got another battle. I owe you a battle too, okay, well, whatever. Whatever, Wayne. Ooh, I'm a champ. I am not sticking in with this. Oh, uh, nothing I... Nothing really wants to switch into this. Trash can deal with it, though. Trash is bulky enough that he can deal with him a champ. Foresight. Uh, that works. Good thing I didn't switch into like a ghost type or something, jeez. Oh, uh, that's body slam. If I'm lucky I can paralyze him. Hopefully it doesn't have guts. Oh! This is gonna hurt a lot. Okay, good. Cause that's uh, double base power when he gets hit first. Uh, yeah, so no worries now. We've got this thing taken for sure. Like, it was double damage, stab, and it's only like six levels lower than me, so I, that was pretty scary. Yeah, they're like intentionally delaying me. Uh, let's check out this teleporter. Get some other item. I'm getting pretty good with these gases here. Let's a four store. I always, and, and that's another thing, I've always got to take the path, the, the uh, optional path first. Because I don't want to have to go back and explore it later. I'm gonna knock out a, did you say a toddler? I'm not a toddler. Ooh, a dugong. It's level 32. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't have sheer cold at this level. Uh, damn it, I don't have any moves that can hurt it yet. Oh, Hobbs could, though. Hopefully it doesn't use a water move, though, because it's going to be getting drizzle off the bat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. Use Growl. I can work with that. <laughs> its tail there makes it look like it's got a little stubby arm. It's a weird-looking back sprite. Let's use Thunder Punch. Boom. Get wrecked. Oh. Get wrecked next turn. 
God, I haven't had a lightning, or not lightning, I haven't had an electric Pokemon, I think, since, uh, since Plusle. Like, I've just been stuck with grass types for most of this Nuzlocke. And not even water types either, like, I haven't even gotten that many water types, considering they're the most, uh, common type in the game. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Double battle. Four panels. The hideout's pride and joy. Oh, I want some more. I want some more static encounters. Give me some static encounters. Oh, but Metang. I would have loved Metang. Ooh, Typhlosion. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna swap out from Kale. But we're gonna go into Mariner. Oh, Typhlosion is Arena Trap. Okay, well let's do Acid. And let's Thunder Punch this Weezing. See how much damage we can do to it. I don't think it's gonna do very much. Oh, it did more than I thought it would. <laughs> Oh no. Please don't poison. Oh no. Okay, well I better use Ingrain. I'll use, yeah, I'll use Ingrain to make up for the poison. And we'll Thunder Punch Weezing, so I wanna get there, I wanna get rid of that thing. Let's go for it, and hopefully, hopefully Typhlosion keeps trying to, oh wow, uh, hopefully he keeps trying to Ember Hobbs. Oh no. Crap. Okay, hopefully that ingrain offsets the poison. Uh, maybe. It doesn't look like it's going to completely offset it, but it'll, it'll do for now. So let's use... Uh, let's use... Constrict. No, we'll try to astonish him. And I'll Thunder Punch Typhlosion. Or... I can always use Swift. Uh, let's, let's Thunder Punch uh, Typhlosion, see what happens. Decent damage. Oh no, he's smogging me too! <laughs> okay, good. There, perfect. Okay, well, it's wheezing gone, thankfully. Confuse Ray, there we go, that's something I'll take. We'll ditch. Uh, oh my god, 10 power on Constrict, that's terrible. Oh, it's 30 power for Astonish. Uh, man, this thing's got the worst attacks. I mean, I'll take Confuse Ray for sure over Constrict. Man, I could have replaced a wrap and it would have been better. Okay, so let's go Confuse Ray or Thunder Punch. I think I can flinch him with this. Alright, hopefully that's enough. So I'll Antidote, Kale, and we had Hobbs to just Swift or Thunder Punch, one or the other. God, there's one thing I don't miss is Overworld Poison. I was quite happy when they took that out in Gen 7. Oh no, it was Gen 5, I should say. Gen 5, they took it out. Gen 7, they just made it so that once a battle's finished, you can just get rid of poison for free. There you go. Good job, Kale and Hobbs. You took this on. All by yourselves. Ghost Rider Scarlet. That makes sense. Uh, for red-haired pirate. I like it. Uh, this is super potion up. Oh, 
And there's a dog barking outside the window. That's almost certainly coming through. <laughs> and static and Kim. Did I just go back to the start? Yeah. I guess it makes sense that they'd have a That's dumb. Why would they why would they put it there though? That's stupid. I, I get why they would have a warp pad taking you back to the start, so that way you don't have to go all the way back to the start and retrace your steps. But why would they put it right there? Oh, whatever you. I'm not stalling for time. I'm gonna pulverize you. Sure, whatever. Who's this grunt? Oh, it's some shirtless guy. Dan oh my! Oh my! <laughs> looks like he's in a dancer's pose. It's freaking Magic Mike. <laughs> I thought I was gonna call this episode uh, Bloody Pirates, but I might just call it uh, I might just call it Magic Mike. <laughs> um, oh, what do we got? We got the poison and bug type. I really don't have anything that can hurt this. I'm gonna give it to Hobbs. Hobbs should be able to take this thing on. Beedle's not that strong anyway. Making it rain. Yeah, that's not that bad. I don't think a thunder punch will be enough to kill it, but twin needle was not too bad. Hopefully, I can get like a paralyze on this too or something. Ooh, a crit. We'll focus energy. Shoot. Okay. Well, I still, uh, I still should be able to kill it with a thunder punch. Oh, you bugger! Literally. Come on, kill. Although, uh, it's going to take a lot for me to actually kill that. I don't think I can actually kill it in one shot. So I'm going to swap into Mariner. Because I really don't want to lose Hobbs. I want to keep him for the rest of this playthrough. Ideally. I want him to be going to the Elite Four with me. Because having guaranteed Drizzle is super handy. And I have nothing to replace that with currently. Level 32, I need him to get thunder. He's I've gotta get thunder on him soon. Cause that's just too good. Oh, shroomish. Okay, well I wouldn't have been able to do much with this anyway. Yeah, shroomishes are starting to get close to the point where they would have uh spore though. I think they learned that at level 40. Spore is such a like brutal freaking move though. Oh, speaking of brutal moves, this shouldn't do much, considering it's coming from a shroomish, but. More than I would like. <laughs> Magic Mike had a little shroom. <laughs> Thomas, Magic Thomas. <laughs> That's fantastic. start and we will go off to sea and we've got about um we've got about 10 minutes ish left in this episode so we'll, we'll actually get to be able to go to route 124 yeah okay perfect so let's heal up and then we will uh, hit up a new route and we'll actually get a new encounter for that Yeah, 
Okay, so let's hit up this new route. Yeah, this guy's gone now too. So yeah. All right, so right one twenty four. Let's go rolling. Got an eleven. That's that's okay. Choose five items and throw them away. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, oh, well, I'll get rid of the blue flu because I don't really care. So that's one. I can sell iron. Uh, keep them. Let's get rid of the miracle. No. Let's keep the miracle seed. Get rid of the sea incense. So it's two items. Okay, I'll th toss one paralyzed heal. So it's three. Oh uh, shit! I should just thrown berries the whole friggin' time. Although I feel like it's cheating with these things. You know what? Oh, oops. I'm not gonna count those berries I just threw away just because I technically should have not had them anyway. Um, so we'll get rid of a Lepa Bear. No, I wanna keep a Lepa Berry. Uh, we'll get rid of a Rost Berry. There. There we go. So that's that's five items. So I feel, I feel good about it now. So what do we get? Okay, so here's our encounter. Ooh, a Togetic. That's cool. It's not a, it's not a very good Pokemon, but but uh, I kind of I kind of want to get it. It's got some cool utility moves. I can get like uh, like Wish and oh crap, it's got Metronome. Hydro Pump and Speed Boost. Wow. So it's got Yawn. It's got Metronome. Jeez. Oh, metronome worries me though. That's <laughs> facade. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't do a match. I guess I'm a rock type, and he's not paralyzed or anything. So it's. Oh no! Damn it! I would have loved to catch that. Damn. <sighs> I mean, I'll console myself in the fact that it, Togetic would have been it would have been mediocre. I don't know if I even would have put it on my team, but Speed Boost at the very least would have been super handy. Same with Yawn, even. Uh, I would have probably been too afraid to use Metronome. Like I'd probably only use it as like a joke, but. Other than that, oh, you, you, ugh. freaking smooch him. But still, I would have preferred not to have lost a Togetic. Now, if this were a Gen 4 one, I would be distraught because a Toga Kiss would be awesome. Powder Snow. Uh, oh, wow, that did way more than I thought it would. I mean, Smoochum is pretty. It's pretty good uh, special attack. Uh, I'm kind of come on, kill, kill it. Oh, I thought it would. I was hoped it would do more. <laughs> um, heal up. And then hopefully hit it with another astonish. Like, Smoochum has, for a baby Pokemon, it actually has pretty good special attack. It's just, it's, the rest of its stats are terrible. Well, I think its special defense is pretty good too, but. But yeah, like, it, like, it dies to a tackle. Togetis. Togetis? Togetic. Uh, 
Ooh, and there's a hair across. No, uh, that is not good. Uh, not good for Kale. Let's go into Hudson. And I'll kill it with a fly. I don't think it will know any rock moves. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, let's, let's fly. <coughs> it's just countering me. Oh, troll. Whatever. Uh, fly should kill here. Because it's four times weak. Yeah, okay. Take that, nurse. I'm almost certainly ending this episode in the water, and I'm freaking triggered right now. <sighs> I mean, hopefully I can run into a shiny one, and then I can just catch it. <laughs> That'd be nice. That's a sweet kiss, too. Ugh. All these support moves. Metronome's terrible, though. With my luck, I, I would get Explosion first time I tried to use it. In a double battle, too, so it would kill my own teammates. Okay. Charm? Really? No, oh, this isn't gonna kill. Unless I get a crit. And now I'm asleep. Whatever. I'm gonna stay in and kill it. Although I'll still be confused, I suppose, but hopefully I snap out of confusion when I wake up. Oh my god, he keeps using charm. <laughs> I'd probably be better off swapping. Like, watch how much damage this does. If it even hits. No. Yeah, I'm swapping out. Before it can yawn me again. Go Hobbs. Kick this thing's ass. That's fine, I can deal with that. Because Thunder Punch is not a physical move in this generation. Get shracked. Oh, there's a dive spot. I can't use it in this generation, though. Or, not this generation, I can't use it until I get the TM. Oh, and there's Jirachi on this route, too? Thing is steel and psychic. It's, it's astonishing. Oh, this is gonna kill. This is gonna kill Kale. Oh, maybe not. Wow, that did nothing. Leica, take this thing out. I don't think it is Doom Desire yet. Like, Doom Desire is its uh, signature move, but I don't know if it would have actually learned it. Wow, that didn't. That did barely anything. Man, yeah, Shiny Jirachi is really cool. It's got, like, uh, red ribbons instead of blue, essentially. Like, I guess it's not. It's not, like, a dramatic change to it. But, uh, yeah, the main thing is that, like, it's ribbons change color. Like, it's only been available in, like, certain events. And it lives on one health, of course. And I can't catch it. Sad face. Oh, well. That'll be some decent experience for someone. got to be an item here somewhere. Oops. Okay, I'm just gonna search this island. Hmm. 
All right, I can't find anything. I don't know. What's in this house? Hunter's house. It's the hunter. I'm the diving treasure hunter. I'm the awesome dude who makes deep sea dives to gather treasures resting at the bottom. You haven't got any treasures for me. If you see any shards, like a red shard, you've got to trade it with me. Okay. Yeah, I think he... Oh, yeah, he gives you something for them. I think he gives you uh, elemental stones or something. I was reading about this. Uh, I don't know any shards, though, I don't believe. Oh, here's a battle. I'm just going to explore this area just a little more thoroughly. Because I kind of skipped through a lot of it. Uh, and then I'll probably call it an episode. Ooh, Dragonite. <laughs> it's a happy Dragonite. Uh, I don't need... Oh, I have, I have Powder Snow. Powder Snow will take this thing out. I wonder what... Uh, I mean, imagine if Dragonite had, like, Truant or something. Holy crap, that did a lot. Oh, wow, it actually lived. Man, Twister. <laughs> Twister is one of those moves that's so bad you wonder why it exists. Thunder, though. I need, like, a TM or something. Oh. Well, okay, I'll get your number, babe. <laughs> uh, so let's heal up. Yeah, I don't see anything over there, so we'll go, we'll go down a little bit. Surskit. Well, it's a little easier to deal with. Wow, okay, it was a critical hit. I guess I'm 12 levels higher, too. But it did way more than I thought it would. Fight me. I go deep underwater to go undercover. Plumbing the depths is where I excel. Okay, whatever. Let's go, Mariner. Ah, oh, if I had Tropius still, he could he could have used uh, use crab hammer. Let's go surf. I know we just used Amnesia, but this might still be enough to kill. Nope. He literally only lived because of that Amnesia. Oh, got one more left. Ponyta! Oh, you are just... Asking to die by my mariner. Boom. No. Oh. I didn't want to get an encounter. Well, this is a shiny. How insane would that be if I ran into a shiny? Especially at the end of an episode when I'm already like an hour in. <laughs> oh, wait, what am I doing? Mud shot. That's. I can deal with that. I'm actually just gonna run from this, I don't wanna fight. Tell me sick that badly. Oh, here's an island. What is this? Oh, we're in Moss Deep City. Uh, so that means I've got a new encounter, actually. So where does the Moss Deep City start? Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna check this stuff here quick. Okay, so there's nothing there. Uh, that guy's gonna tell me something, obviously. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll for Monsteep City. Got four, which isn't good. Uh, choose a random Pokemon. Only that Pokemon can be used on this route until you complete the route or it dies. Uh, so that could, that's only going to affect me in certain circumstances, but like basically this encounter. Uh, so I have to use Kale. I have to use Kale during my encounter. And if I get into a battle... I guess if this guy wants to battle me, I have to use... Tail Glow? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll learn Tail Glow. Oh, Hobbs can learn it! Oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, Hobbs can learn Tail Glow. You know, Tail Glow's a plus three. Okay. Yeah, it, it's sharply. Oh, is it plus two or is it plus three in this generation? It's normally it's a plus three to your special attack. Um. And yeah, I'm gonna teach that to freak, uh, freaking hogs. You could just sweep the elite floor four as long as I don't have another ground type. Holy shite! Yeah, and I never checked uh, Hobbs's nature, serious nature. That is serious is a neutral nature. That's fine. And nice, got 69 special attack and special defense. That's fucking awesome. Uh, so let's just check a couple things here. And I'm gonna surf the water a little bit. I think I'd rather get in a surfing encounter. New route too? Yeah, okay. Although if I don't run into something soon, I'm just gonna fish, or I'll call it an episode or one of the other. Okay, so here we go. Here's our encounter. It's uh oh I can species clause. It's species clause. I already have a Paris, I don't wanna fight this. So we'll try again. If we run into another Paris, I'll just say screw that. Oh, a Jolteon! <gasps> We're catching this thing. We're catching it. Oh, I could have used Tail Glow on this, but that's all right. That's all right. I don't mind. I just want a Jolteon. Okay, good. Did not do very much. Give me a Jolteon. Give me a Jolteon. Oh, oh, baby, give me a Jolteon. I've been so wanting to catch a Jolteon this whole time. And now it's finally here. So now I've got a Jolteon, and... Well, if I catch it, I'll have a Jolteon and a Chikorita on my team, which is just too, too perfect. I'm terrified of critting this thing, so we're going... Mm -hmm. I gotta try it. I've gotta try we got to go for the Astonish. <gasps> okay, good. Oh, I was scared. Come on, Premier Ball. Premier Ball, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get that Jolty on the Premier Ball, come on. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! We did it! Oh, that was the perfect way to end this episode. Oh, its cells generate weak power that is amplified by its preferred static electricity to drop thunderbolts. The bristling fur is made of electrically charged needles. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Yes! <laughs> um, oh, what do we want to call him? We're going to call him uh, Good... We're going to call him uh, Good Boy? Because uh, Jolteon's a good boy. And we'll call him Good Boy. Um, so yeah, you know what I'm doing right now. Uh, how we're going to end this episode.
I got him in a Premier Bowl too. That's just so freaking perfect. Uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to ditch Kale because I'm really not happy with this Pokemon. And, oh, and I sold Twin Needle though. Uh, I could have actually, or not Twin Needle, I could have sold Pin Missile, which is actually a move that Jolteon learns normally. Uh, does it have any items? Oh, there's a Great Ball on it, that's cool. Let's check them out. Swarm ups bug type moves in a pinch. <laughs> okay, careful. Careful nature is, I think it's a defensive nature. Uh, plus special defense, minus special attack. Ugh, that sucks, but that's fine. We'll live. And. Thundershock, quick attack, sand attack, helping you. Well, okay, well. I'm taking it because it's Jolteon. Take the lucky egg off of Kale. Put that on Jolteon, and we'll just bag this this uh, great ball. Okay, so we'll give him. Oh, sorry, I already gave it to him. Um, I think I'm gonna swap the lucky egg and. Oh no, let's, let's leave the experience share on him. No, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do experience share on good boy so he doesn't get killed by a arena trap. Uh, we'll put Hobbs up front. We'll give him the lucky egg. And I'm definitely giving Silver Wind to our Jolteon. Oh, he can't learn it? Oh, that sucks. Damn it. Hmm. Well, whatever. <sighs> he probably would have been able to learn Pencil. Damn it. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's it for this episode, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy I've got a Jolteon. I don't care that it's not an ideal Jolteon. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, you can uh, click the subscribe button down below. I put out episodes twice a week, usually on Wednesdays and Saturdays, as long as there's no issues. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Barlock1. I put updates on the channel there, so if for some reason an episode wasn't coming out, I would uh, let you know there. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. This is Barlock, signing off.